Good morning. It is midweek. I'm starting this video late, but I'm heading to the office now. I did go in yesterday. Frankie's crazy right now because I just let him out. I did go in yesterday. I'm going in today and then going again tomorrow. Very a lot for me basically because this is the second time I'm going into the office. Well, now today is third, but I <laughs> never go in. I'm fully work from home. So it's a whole thing. I have to prep and everything and outfit is always very much be glad that i showed up because <laughs> i can't be bothered but we have a full-on design sprint this week so a lot of collaboration full day meetings just really trying to put out a good product so hopefully today's productive yesterday wasn't as productive as i wanted it to be monday was good but it was virtual so i feel like we were a little bit more focused so Let's see what today brings. Heading to the office now. Definitely gonna get another coffee, like second coffee of the day, just so I'm nice and motivated while I'm there. So let's do it. Many, many hours later, I'm back home, but I wanted to show you some purchases I got from Sephora from the Sephora sale because I haven't bought Sephora stuff in a while and obviously it's always very fun so I wanted to show it with you. My friend's birthday did just pass so my friends and I got her an Outdoor Voices workout set but also got her this Glossier sunscreen so I'm just gonna throw it in that box so it's a complete gift. I did get really lucky and managed to get the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops and the rosy drops so they're supposed to be slightly more dewy this one is supposed to be rosy like for my cheeks and this one obviously bronzing so a little darker these are usually sold out so i got really lucky that i was able to get both i will say when i saw the box i was very surprised by how small these items are but it's Drunk Elephant, obviously it's gonna be a very high price point, but I am very curious to try these. I'm a very sweaty person, so I know I can't wear full-on makeup during the summer, especially when it's really warm. So I'm gonna be relying on stuff like this where it's sunscreen, not sunscreen, uh, skincare heavy, but can also add some color back to my face. So we'll try these along with sunscreen and just spot conceal a little bit throw on some mascara and it should look like a complete but look how tiny these are it's the size of my palm my eyelash curler is on its complete last life so i'm very excited to be exchanging it now and this is a chiseido one it had a lot of great reviews it's very light and it looks like it's good so i don't expect anything major out of an eyelash curler but i did need this and lastly i'm trying to get more into tight lining because i do think it just gives you a sexy eye you know like if you're actually able to get eyeliner into your eyeball so i wanted to try the urban decay one and i just got the sample size because i was gonna buy the full size but then i saw that this was one of the options to get a sample size for it so i was like oh why not it's gonna be free and i get to try it so hopefully i did get the black one and it sh even though it's small it should be enough for me to tell if i like it or not if it smudges so this should be good as always just always get sample so i always like getting perfumes because they're so easy to throw into your purse and spritz a little bit more throughout the day and this is just a cleansing balm so got these two and i had gotten stuff from pretty little thing these i'm returning because the chances of something fitting are very slim this is what i'm actually keeping got some sunglasses i think these were like seven dollars each and then just this random corset top i don't really know what the print is but i thought it was cute i want to go out looks a little bit more dressed up then i got these linen pants they are very see-through but i just really like them so i'm just gonna have to maybe wear it with white underwear and probably like a long shirt of some sort or just embrace the underwear showing i don't know but i like the color it's like a creamy almost yellowish kind of like ecru or whatever this is a mesh brown top 
with just some what is this called like lettuce detailing so thought this was cute this actually did fit well so i'm glad and then i got this white boat neck which is a very basic tee this was also nice and tight it is a little see-through but i could just wear a white bra and it's fine and then the most important thing i've been looking for a black skirt this one did fit me all right and it's just a little split right here but it's a perfect length a mini without literally bending down and showing everything so it was a perfect length so i got a lot of stuff and only managed to keep this but i was happy that i at least managed to get one skirt because that's really what i wanted out of this purchase all right it is thursday just now going into the office and should be the last day that i go in and work from home for who knows how long i'll probably be trying to go in once a month or so whenever we have larger staff meetings so i get to see people and actually put faces to names but i am looking forward to just being back <laughs> working from my desk because it's a lot like i physically do feel exhausted i'm just not used to it anymore and i know i sound like a baby but i got very accustomed to my work from home life but I am gonna get myself another Starbucks or so. Probably wait until 11ish for a break instead of getting it right after. But I did have to have a coffee before here because I need my stomach to move so I could poop before I leave because I'm gonna poop in the office. So <laughs> that's what's been happening. Gonna walk Frank in his daycare, go to the office, have a good day. And then basically the weekend is here because tomorrow's Friday, so it's an easy day. It is Monday, the 1st of May. I don't even remember the last time I picked up this camera. It's been so long. I've been the worst. I think I've just been very distracted doing a lot of things. And instead of thinking about recording them, I've just been living and that's great. But also it makes for me having no content. And I want to continue making videos. I enjoy making videos, so I need to step it up. I didn't really take video this weekend, but it was a very good weekend. It was a fun weekend. It was very rainy, but I did go get dinner on Friday with some friends. On Saturday, my friend and I had a full-on shopping day. It was really fun. I haven't done that in a really long time, but I just had that desire to have like retail therapy basically so i bought some dresses for my mom's birthday so i'm glad that's out of the way i do need to figure out if i want to buy new shoes and to add to the retail therapy of course <laughs> and then i went to go see Bo is afraid so strange movie don't really know how to explain it aside from it's a man grappling with the relationship that he has with his mother that's very overbearing and abusive and those abuses kind of project into his anxiety and how he is as an adult but it's very extreme feel weird recommending it because it does induce a lot of weird emotions so if you're not about that no need to watch and then sunday i hung out with another friend that lives in jackson heights i've never been so it was really nice to have a little food tour had a lot of different really good cuisines that i've never had before so it was really nice to get out of my comfort zone and try new things today it is met monday which i always love seeing how everyone's dressed up so that's kind of what's in store for today this weekend is another pretty busy weekend but i'm gonna try to actually do this video this week because i didn't post it last week because i was just busy with work so tired from going into the office and just wanted to chill have a good weekend that i kind of just put the camera away but we're gonna continue we're actually gonna do it today i do need to do laundry get my life together 
and have a good productive week. I always have to give a Frankie update. So here he is. I'm touching him and there's hair all over me. He is in desperate need of a haircut. Yes, but he doesn't mind. <laughs> but I mind because his fur is all over me. So need to make an appointment to get this baby nice and groomed. <laughs> it is the next day. Just got done with my work day. Didn't really do much. I haven't really been productive because there's a lot of work changes and it's been very distracting. A lot of uncertainties and obviously feeling a little weird about it. Won't give too many details, but a lot of uncertainty, structural changes, yada yada. So I just wanna know how I'm gonna be affected by it, obviously. So I've been distracted, really, trying to do my work but it feels kind of like meaningless right now which i know is definitely not a healthy mindset to have but it is what it is and to distract myself i will now go work out <laughs> so that's my good transition there i need to work out yesterday i did work out it was a good workout i had been slacking the week before and then i think the week before that i was sick so i wasn't really working out that well so really need to get on it this week and yesterday was good, so it feels very motivating. So today, I believe, is glutes. Yesterday, I did arms and a little bit of shoulders. And I do feel a little bit sore in my um, triceps. So I feel like I did a good job. So today, it's all about that butt. So <laughs> let's do it. Ooh. And just like that, that was a good workout. And I also just got a package. This is something that I bought in store, but they didn't have my size this weekend so just sent it to get shipped out but these are the first jeans that i ever buy from everlane and i don't have anything this wash and i'll put some clips of me trying them on over this audio but i got them in a size long and curvy which i didn't even know that they carried curvy sizing but once i tried it on they fit like a glove. I was honestly so excited. I wasn't even looking for jeans, but if I ever do find jeans that fit well, I'm gonna get them. And I thought this wash was just nice because I can dress it up a little bit. And this also looks really cute with white t-shirts. So I thought this was perfect. I was very, very excited for this purchase. It's probably one of my best purchases on Saturday because that's just how difficult it is for me to get jeans. I always have the issue of the waist gaping like on my back my thighs taking up too much space so if they're supposed to be loose on the thighs they are not for me they're usually like pretty tight and then loose like from my knees down so they look a little funny and then the length also usually a little, a little too short for me so it's very complicated so i found the perfect <laughs> mix of all the correct sizing in these it is the end of Wednesday. I'm making myself dinner. By that, it just means some rice and some Trader Joe's falafel. Because I have nothing in my fridge. My fridge is looking pretty sad. But I don't know. I'm just surviving off of what I have. I'm not feeling too creative with food lately. So I'm getting enough food. Like, I'm eating enough. I'm not starving myself or anything. But I just haven't felt very creative and I'm just kind of eating to survive and not necessarily trying to make intricate meals. So we'll eat this. I'll feel nice and hungry. And then after I actually have an interview, I'm going to try to join Big Brother's Big Sister organization. And if you haven't heard of it, it's nationwide. So it is pretty popular. So I feel like most people have heard of it. But it's all like a volunteer experience that you get matched up with a child. Uh, up to the age of 17 so they match you based on interests like just who your personality so really right now it's more of like getting to know me it's supposed to be a pretty extensive and deep interview so it's going to be very introspective kind of talk about my upbringing my morals my values my interests so just getting to really know me so they could a make sure that i'm good enough for the program itself but b so i could get matched with someone appropriately so i think it's gonna be really fun i've been wanting to 
do more stuff in the community so i think this is definitely like a good way to dip my toes into that so because it is an extensive interview i think it's like two hours long i wanted to just make sure did my workout and ate before then so i'm not distracted when i'm doing that and then it's gonna just be basically the end of the day so tomorrow is thursday and i have no plans but friday is cinco de mayo and even though as a mexican i know that's not a real holiday I think it's gonna be really fun, so I'm just gonna go to a happy hour with great deals. I'm excited to drink some frozen margaritas, have some churros, I don't know, whatever the offers are, and then going out with some friends at night. And then Saturday is also a whole other thing, and Sunday I think I also have plans. So it's a very busy and social weekend, so today is a nice cool off, chill out be responsible and do my workout, make sure I'm staying hydrated and doing all that before it gets crazy later on. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you after the interview just to kind of see how it went. If I obviously don't feel weird because it's talking about a lot of personal stuff. So I'll catch you up either later today or tomorrow. Hello, I'm very far from the camera so I really can't tell if I'm on frame, but I just got some pocket stuff, nothing exciting. It's all just household items like laundry detergent but while i unpacked this i wanted to kind of share how my interview yesterday was it did last almost a full two hours and it was kind of broken down by sections and there was a lot of serious questions just really trying to get to understand how i grew up and kind of like my interests so I mean, I don't even remember all the sections, but there was a section in family, just talking about everybody in my family, and some questions that I found a little difficult, such as, oh, describe, so I had to kind of like say everyone in my family, in my immediate family, describe their personalities, and then how do I see myself similarly and different from each one of them? So that i definitely felt very much on the spot <laughs> because you know like you know people in your family like your siblings or your parents but you're not thinking about like their personality traits and i just had to take a step back and think of adjectives <laughs> both good and bad and then seeing how i would want to be more like them or less like them in some ways than ways in how if i were to have a family what would I do differently or similarly? So a lot of that regarding family, a lot regarding also friendships and how often I communicate with people, how I would describe us. So a lot of getting into personality traits and then just interest, kind of like what is my day-to-day -day after work? What is my weekend like? And then more serious topics so uh not substance abuse but yes substance abuse in addition to abuse uh substances like marijuana or alcohol how often why do you do it one of the questions was like do you drink alcohol and i was like yes i do they asked me how many times a week and then the question that kind of stumped me was why do you drink so i really had to reflect on that and why is it something that you like to do and why is it something that you don't like to do or something an effect that you don't like as a result from it and if it has affected my relationships or if i've been called out by it uh, so very like serious questions like that and then way more serious which i feel like trigger warning here a lot of it also was just any abuses uh, that someone might have experienced and kind of me defining in my own word what I think sexual abuses, physical abuses, emotional abuse and why that might happen to a child, why that might happen to an adult so really had to reflect on those different topics and then just a lot of questions about compatibility and I had to kind of scale on a scale of 1 to 5 rank if I was matched with a child that had X, Y, and C criteria or came from this type of background or was dealing with a certain hardship, how comfortable would I be to be matched with them? And a lot of it is things that I personally haven't had interaction with. So it is kind of difficult to gauge whether or not I'd be a good fit. But I did say like as long as I have 
the training and resources to be able to have difficult conversations or deal with difficult situationships then i would feel confident to be able to do it and yeah then just like simple stuff like my preferences in terms of the matching where i would want to travel to what type of activities i would want to do with them so it was definitely hefty enough content for the two hours so i'm glad i did kind of get that out of the way because now they will give all my information i kind of consented that all the information that i provided about myself all the answers to be given to the families that way they could say like yes i like this person i want them to be matched with my child and then once i'm matched then it's a whole training process and then after that i believe that's like when the matching begins and then we kind of both agreed to be matched together or not so it's a long-winded process but i think it is important because you are dealing with children that you have to really vet them in go through a whole background process i know my references are going to be contacted soon so it's a whole big old thing but i am excited and it's something that i definitely wanted to commit to for a while so i'm glad i'm finally getting the ball rolling okay and that was a lot of chit chat so just quickly gonna go through all of this i'm still kind of far away from the camera so can't tell if i'm in frame but i've been using this function of beauty straight hair shampoo so this is a repurchase i wouldn't say it's like dust wonders but i think it's pretty affordable considering that it's not necessarily like a high-end product uh, but it's also not like your dove or whatever and shoulders and it does make my hair smell good and feels clean so good been continuing to drink my ensure protein shake so we'll continue to drink these they do fill me up as a midday snack and they're yummy so all good here pouring stuff like dove soap i needed some toothpaste again my laundry detergent uh some mouthwash this is the first time i'm trying this i know this is a thera breath that went viral on tiktok so i'm moving away from listerine to try this one so hopefully it's good i did need more micellar water to remove my makeup and then i always go through these really fast it's the elf clear brow gel it's double-sided so one is technically to be supposed to be mascara and the other one brow gel but i just use both ends for my eyebrows just to keep my eyebrow hairs in place because i'm not going to use clear mascara and this is the last product i'm the first time i'm using the eos body lotion i have no idea how this smells but i also just want to try something new because for years i've been using the avino one but this had great reviews and i want something that has a stronger smell because i do like how body lotion smells so i thought this would be good so lots of chit chatting i feel like i need a coffee after all this talking i'm gonna put this away and continue on with my work day hello it is friday how are we feeling how are we feeling <laughs> well i'm feeling great i can't wait for the weekend the weekend is here so feeling good well um we walked today for quite a while <laughs> he loves getting this attention but I do plan on posting this video today, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Yesterday, I didn't really do anything during my workout. I did do my nails. I just kept it simple, just a white French tip. Yes, because I didn't want it to take so long because every time I try to do a design, that just adds an additional one or two hours and it was already dark i didn't have patience and i wanted something simple because i don't know what i'm wearing today or tomorrow so i thought this was just the most generic it looks clean so i'm gonna wrap up the video here whole lot of random stuff but i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you on the next one probably will start it tonight or tomorrow <laughs> based on whatever we're doing this weekend so i'll see you then